Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how to generate scatter plots for classification problems in Python and scikit-learn library. So to make the long story short, I will teach you how to generate the graph that you can see over here. This graph visualizes two classes of the Moon's dataset from the scikit-learn library. However, you can use the same principle that I will explain in this video to visualize scatter plots and classes of different data sets. But before I start, I have to mention the following. If you like the videos I'm creating and if you find these videos useful, please subscribe or support my channel. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay, so here is the code that I will explain. An alternative to watching this video is, of course, to read the post that I created. Here is the post, and this post nicely summarizes everything that I will explain in this video. However, I strongly suggest you to first watch this video, and then later on, you can read the post. A link to the post, of course, is given in the description below. As in any Python code, the first step is to import the necessary libraries and the necessary functions. First, we import this function, make moons, that generates the data set. We will import this function from sklearn.datasets. The second step is to import the plotting function and to import the numpy library. So let's do that. Okay, then the next step is to generate the data set. I'm calling this function make moons. I'm specifying the number of samples to be 200 and I'm specifying this parameter noise. You can play with these parameters to have a denser or sparser data set. So let's generate the data set and let's investigate this data set. Okay. So here is our data set. We have X matrix, the rows are features, and the columns are training samples. And we have the vector Y, and the vector Y consists of ones and zeros. Ones, one here means that the first feature in our data, actually the first sample in our data set belongs to the class 1. Then going back to the y vector representing the targets, the second entry is 0. This means that the second sample belongs to the class 0, etc. So the vector y representing the target values denotes the class membership. It can be 0 or 1, since we have two classes. Now, our next step is to separate this vector according to, actually to separate this matrix according to the class membership. So we will take all the entries or all the samples from X that belong to the class 0 and we will form another matrix and we will take all the entries that belong to the class 1 and we will put them in another matrix. We need that because we need to call two scatter functions. We need to plot class 1 and class 0. And the symbols for class 1 and class 0 have to be different. And you can see it over here. We need to do that in order to easily visualize and distinguish two classes. Okay, so let's see how to do that. To perform this task, we will use the Python function, or actually the numpy function, np.where. And to illustrate this function, I constructed a small example that you can see over here. Here I define a temporary vector. Temp1. Okay, 
we have 1, minus 1, 0, 10, and minus 2. Now, I want to retrieve the indices of the entries that are positive. To do so, I will write np dot where tenth one is larger than zero. This means that I'm retrieving the indices of entries that are larger than zero. And if I execute this code line, I will get this result. Okay, so the answer should be interpreted like this. We can see that the zero, the zero entry is larger than zero and the third entry is larger than zero. That is, this function returns the index of 1 and the index of 10. They are 0 and 3, 0 since Python start starts to enumerate vectors starting from 0, not from 1. Similarly here, if I want to retrieve the indices of the entries that are smaller than 0, I will call this code line. And as the result, I will see that the indices are correct. That is, the second entry has the index 1, and the fourth entry, that's also negative, has the index, actually this is the fifth entry, it has the index 4. Okay, now, using this principle, we will find the indices of the vector y that correspond to the class 0, and we'll call this class A. So I'm asking the following, np.where y is equal to 0. I will retrieve all the indices of the vector y that correspond to 0 entries. And let's execute that. Okay, so here are my indices. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. Let's check our vector y. So let's see what happens. Okay, here is 1. Number 3 is over here perfect number 4 is also equal to 0 etc now since this is an array I will convert this to list and this is my final list of indices that I can use later on similarly I extract the indices of the vector y corresponding to the class 1 or class B. I will call the class 1 the class B. So here they are. Let's verify that everything is correct. So we can see that the indices are 0, 2, 7, 0, 2, 7, and here is my vector y, 0, 2, 7. Perfect. The next step is to use these indices to extract the entries of the matrix X corresponding to the class A and class B. This can be done by executing these code lines and here they are. So if I type X class A, here are my entries. Here are basically the samples corresponding to the class a or class 0 and if I type class B these are the entries corresponding to or actually better to say samples corresponding to the class 1 or the class B once I have samples corresponding to A and B I can call my plot.scatter function so first I specify the first column that's basically x one direction then I specify the second column of the class A this is basically x two direction I specify the color marker and I put the label for my legend I do the same thing for my 
class B for the samples corresponding to the class B. However, this time I'm using the red color and I'm using the O marker, the circle marker. So let's execute these code lines and let's see the result. And voila, here's our graph. Here are our samples. Class B corresponds to red circles and class A corresponds to blue crosses. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you liked the video. If you like the videos I create, please subscribe or support my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.